Blizzard just saved World of Warcraft, Asmongold on 9.1.5, and Fresh Classic confirmed. Uh, all the stuff that... Wait. I'm gonna start from the very beginning. And let's pause this. So, Blizzard came out with a blue post, and they're pretty much doing uh, all the stuff that everybody's wanted. And um, uh, I, I think this is kind of something that we all expected. Yep. And uh, it's something that, unfortunately, we all expected before Shadowlands even came out. And uh, the blue post went over everything that they're going to be changing in WoW. And this is the PTR for the 9.1.5 patch. So this is not three point. It's not 9.3.5, which is never we thought this stuff was going to happen. Turns out we're actually getting at two patches early. So uh, usually they fix the expansion in the last patch, and now they're fixing it in just the second patch, which is... See? This is exactly what I was talking about. It's exactly what I was talking about. It's like at the end of the game, at the end of the of the of the expansion, they fix the expansion to kind of like get you hyped for the next expansion to kind of get you to think that they, no, they're they're not gonna dick us over in the next expansion, right? And then they dick you over, and then they keep you dicked over for another full expansion. Then they fix it. Except this time, because of the you know the exodus of World of Warcraft, they were forced to fix it a little bit earlier to see if they can get their player base back. But you know. I still think it's too little too late. Actually an improvement. I would say this is definitely better. So anyway, uh, what are the changes? What are in the changes, etc.? Blizzard is, for all intents and purposes, pulling the ripcord. They are making covenants either easier to swap between. They are literally deleting conduit energy. Uh, they are making it to where you can use different transmogs from other covenants. They are basically making it to where you can just do whatever you want in the game now because they're just uh, throwing everything at the wall. Because, And this is the truth, right? And I know that there's a lot of people right now on Twitter, like they're doing everything that people want, basically. And uh, I do not think this is a win. I'll be completely honest. I do not think this is a win. Do you know why? It's because they did the same thing in BFA and they did the same thing in Legion. This exactly. is the same thing. They do this. They do the same thing again. Uh, like, wow, this is great. I'm happy that this is happening. However, it's still just the same fucking bullshit. And until this is where I, I'm going to, I'm not going to just completely complain here, right? Because you know, actually, I probably will. But you know, I have a little bit of positives here. Uh, I will consider this a dub whenever we hit a PTR and a system goes on the PTR that's bad. Players give feedback that the system's bad. And it gets changed before it goes onto live servers. Because that's what the real fucking problem is. It's never been that Blizzard didn't listen to feedback eventually. It's the time that it takes them for them to listen to that feedback. Because what we've just had to do here is we've had to play the game for almost a year now in a dysfunctional state. Because here's a good question. Why are they making these changes if they're not going to make the game better? So they're obviously making them because the players want the changes. Why did it take an entire year? And again, I'm not going to because the players complain left. about the changes themselves. I'm very because players about left. The changes. That's but what why. I am going to complain about is some of the WoW Andes who are mistakenly calling this a win. It's not a fucking win. This is the opposite of a win. This is uh, the reason why it's so so much not a win. I'll explain. Is because. They're doing something, and they're making people feel like they're getting what they want. But the truth is that this is the same thing that we've already gotten before. This was so, the plan all along. This is why I'm so frustrated, and this is why I wanted to come on and talk about this today. Is because uh, this is the same pattern that they've had before. Uh, they've had this pattern of yep. introducing a system into the game that is dysfunctional ignoring feedback about the dysfunctional aspects of the system and ignoring s suggested and uh you know changes that people wanted to see with the system ignoring all of that and then ramrodding it into the game and then a few months later a year later a year and a half later whatever they finally think to themselves wow maybe the players were right people actually don't like this so I don't really care about the system, and pardon me for having a little bit of resentment, 
about the fact that we've had to complain about something and be frustrated about something and play through a, at this point, by their own admission of changing it, bad system for one entire year. This is crazy. This is not a win at all. This is not a success. This is not. And, and I think it's important. He hasn't really mentioned it yet. I don't know if he mentions it later in the video, but I think it's important to mention that literally the only reason they did this when they did is because World of Warcraft is bleeding right now. These, these fixes are basically a band-aid. Like World of Warcraft is bleeding and they're like, no, we got to do something now. We can't wait until the third patch or the fourth patch or whenever they usually do these fixes. We can't wait that long because we're hemorrhaging players to all of these other MMOs. We're losing our dominant position in the market. We need to fix this now. Literally, the only thing that got them to fix this, which players, and, and by players, I mean probably like 80% of the player base, like every single content creator, it took the content creators basically abandoning the game and by 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 you know by association a large portion of their audience will also abandon the game it took a large portion of content creators and players leaving the game for them to realize oh we actually have a problem here we need to fix this now the only reason they're fixing it now is because players have left the game that's literally the only reason. They're probably seeing cancellations in record numbers. They're probably seeing people canceling their World of Warcraft accounts in record numbers. And they can't deal with it. They can't deal with it. And basically, they're coming up with these hotfixes like, okay, we're going we're to do everything they want. Just, just, just give them anything they want. It's not good because it, it also shows that they don't really have like direction. Because if their direction this entire time was to state, no, our systems are right, these systems are correct, we know what we're doing, this was their in, in whole lockstep for a full year, them going like, no, we know exactly what we're doing, this system works, this is going to work, we just need to adjust the knobs here and there, and then suddenly it's like, no, no, give, give everything, give, give them everything. It's like, there's no direction. Your design team has no direction. You're just at this, like, like Asmongold just said, you're just throwing stuff at the wall and see, seeing if it sticks at this point. That's not designing a game. <sighs> oh, wow. Look at us. We're, we're finally going to be able to do this. There's nothing in my mind that tells me that the next system that they're going to add in 9.2 or 9.3 isn't going to have the exact same problems with it and we're not going to see a change for it in 9.3 or 9.35 and people here, the WoW community, is going to fucking eat that shit up and pretend like they just won. You didn't win. You didn't at all. And that's what I think is so frustrating to me is to see people that feel this way because I think this is how Blizzard uh, th this is how Blizzard has gotten by on doing these things, is that people take the diplomatic approach to these things. And I understand that. I appreciate that in a way. But I think that it's been to the detriment of the player base. I think that it's been to the detriment of the player base to coddle the developers and tell them, wow, you're such a good boy. It only took you 11 months to listen to feedback, not even a whole year. Wow, look at Blizzard. They're improving. What, where I see us at right now is I don't see us as plus one or plus five. I see us at zero. Whereas before we were at negative five and we got a plus five and that plus five doesn't take us to plus five. It takes us to zero because this was where we, we, we are now at where we should have been on the release of the expansion. And I am not going to commend Blizzard for listening to the feedback that they so valiantly ignored and refuted for months and really if you include the beta over a year at this point only for them to finally come crawling back after I would say probably the majority of the player base has quit the game. There we they are go. Moving on. That's the point. This desperate attempt to bring people back to the game by giving them the thing that they left the game in the first place because of. I'm just so annoyed by this. I really am. 
And I think the problem is that here's what I think, and this is a bit of a conspiracy theory. Do you guys want to hear my conspiracy theory? This is my conspiracy theory. I think Blizzard is intentionally dub double dipping on hype by introducing the expansion and then saving the implication or the implementation of necessary changes to that system. They are actually planning that ahead of time in order to revitalize people's interest in the game. So this is a premeditated goal that the systems are going to be implemented into the game dysfunctional. They are going to be dysfunctional by design. And then the change later on will be used to generate excitement and generate hype. I think they do this with data mining too. And I'm not going to buy into this. I'm just not. I, I'm, I'm not at all. It's just not going to happen. Like, I, I. Who wants to bet that Blizzard comes out as like, Asmund Gold is so toxic? Well, not Blizzard, but like some of the Blizzard developers now are going to be like, we're giving the players what they want, and Asmund Gold's still like sick in the monas. How dare you? We're, we're giving you everything you want, and you're, you're still being mean. You toxic fuck. This is all your fault. Because the fact is, like, Totally, yeah, yeah. What do you guys think? Y'all agree with me? Like, I mean, am I the only person that sees this? I feel like it's just happened for so many times that it's impossible not to. True and real, it's very cynical, but reasonable. And, and this is the thing, right? Is I don't want to be cynical. Why would I want to be cynical? But whenever you, like human beings, are designed to uh, see patterns. We're, we're, uh, we're programmed like that. And whenever the same pattern manifests itself uh, for five years, since Legion, uh, you, you start to recognize it. You start to see it. And this is the problem that I have. And again, I think that all of these changes and my hope in the game is not resting on today's changes. It's resting on the next patch, what's being implemented in that patch, and if Blizzard will respond to feedback correctly in how to make that system better. Because that's really what the problem has always been. It's never been that they don't eventually fix things. It's that what the time frame is between them fixing or not. And in my opinion, I don't think that we should accept even a single day of live content that's bad. If they don't actually make these changes and improve on these things in real time and fix them before the game comes out, then I'm not really going to have any faith restored in the development team because there's no reason to have any faith restored. Why would you expect the game to get better if they're just doing the same thing that they've already done? And um, again, I think this is really going to be determined by uh, patch 9.2, 9.3, but primarily by the next expansion, because I can guarantee you Blizzard is gonna have some great ideas that they've cooked up uh, you know, in their development team of people who probably don't even play the fucking game or people that are so dog shit at it, they shouldn't even be working on it. And those people are going to have all these Im improvements, right? All these things that they want you to do. And uh, I don't want to deal with it. That's the truth. And uh, I, I think that really the point that I'm making is that these changes are not new. These changes are not, uh, you know, this massive uh, return to form for Blizzard or anything like that. Uh, they're just simply Blizzard trying desperately to uh, stem the, the bleeding of their sub numbers. That's really yep. what it is because they know uh, th they know that y you can't, you're not going to sell any store mounts if there's nobody playing the game to buy them. That's just the truth. Like, I didn't th even, there's nobody who, I didn't even think about the store mounts, but yeah, that's uh, that's a very good point. It's like, if nobody's playing the game, who are they going to sell mounts to? How are they going to make that sweet cash shop money, dude? They need more players playing the game. <laughs> so I said you can't compare World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy 14, 1.0, and expect Realm Reborn because WoW doesn't even bother to communicate with fans. Yeah, now it's desperately trying to do so, but the fans aren't listening anymore. We're just not listening anymore. No matter what they do, classes are not fun to play. If the tool you play the game with is broken, no matter what, then the game won't be fixed. I mean, some classes are fun. Whichever ones happen to be the flavor of the month, those classes are probably going to be pretty fun. Remember, classes were different and had a different mindset with them in vanilla and took a very drastic change with classes once they introduced the arena. They finally streamlined talents. Wrath of the Lich King. How can they fix nine expansions worth of class problems? That is... It's like, it goes so much deeper than just class problems. There, you guys are focusing too much on class problems. It's just like, 
fundamental design flaws in the game. And here's the interesting thing. Even these changes that they're doing, these changes, the, the, the little that I've seen of it, right? They're removing conduit energy. They're uh, letting you swap uh, between covenants. They pull the ripcord, all of these things. It's like none of this actually fixes the problems that I personally have with the game, which is this, the necessity to do a ridiculous amount of dailies in the maw to get Stygia, to socket your items. It's the Shards of Domination system that's complete dog shit, and it's a complete RNG piece of hardcore trash. It's the, it's the, the 20 hours of chores that are expected to do every single week in order to keep your character up to date with the, you know, so that you can then go and do raids. It's like none of this is even addressed at all in any of the changes that I've seen so far. Like, maybe I missed a couple of changes here and there, but from what I can tell, none of it is addressed in there. I'm still expected to do 20 hours of chores in the game in order for me to go do raids with my team if I want to keep my character up to date. And I know that there's people out there that are like, oh, you don't have to do 20 hours. You can you can play without that stuff. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Sure, if you want to be mediocre at the game, sure, go be mediocre. I personally am not a huge fan of being mediocre if I'm playing World of Warcraft, right? I want my character to be updated to as much player power as I can possibly get on it because quite simply, when you're doing a raid, sometimes that 1% additional health or 1% additional damage or whatever could mean the difference between a wipe or a clear. That's the way that I look at it. And if World of Warcraft is like, oh, if you want to keep up to date with your player power, you need to do 20 hours of whatever, right? It's like, I'm doing that. Screw that noise. Why? I have a better game that I'm playing right here that doesn't demand me to do 20 hours of chores. And when I actually log on, I actually get to do things that I'm interested in that are enjoyable. I think the most boring thing that I've had to do recently is probably just like leveling that Dragoon. And even that is more enjoyable than fucking dailies at the Maw. Because at least I have like 10 different ways of how I can level my Dragoon. I can go do like, you know, I can go do Fates. I can go do a Deep Dungeon. I can go uh, do Instances. I can go to Bajja. I can go do all these different things. And so I can at least find some enjoyment in the variety. Whereas if I go log into World of Warcraft right now, the most efficient way to increase my player power or do whatever I, I need to do in there is probably jumping into the fucking Maw or Corthia and doing a bunch of boring fucking world quests. <laughs> Not to mention, then when I do go do some of the things that I like, like Mythic Plus, I already know that most likely I'm not going to get any goddamn loot out of those dungeons because those dungeons don't fucking drop loot. Oh no, there's two items that they'll drop for a group of five players. It's great. It's fucking fat. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's, it's so weird to me that people actually defend this. They're like, well... Don't you want to work for your loot? Is like, yeah, there's working for your loot and there's making a job out of playing the game in order to get your loot. These are two very different things. Learn the difference. Not to mention, is like, is your game that bad? Then when you're done gearing up, it's like you're done playing the game? It's like when I'm done gearing up in World of Warcraft, if, if, if like that's all there was to do, which it's not, there are other things that you can do. It's like, I just, I just, I just feel like people get this idea. It's like, oh, you're done gearing. You, you need to stop playing the game. You just stop playing. It's not how it works. Like I'm done gearing myself in Final Fantasy 14. I've been done gearing myself in Final Fantasy 14 for over six months now. I'm still playing the game because it's fun. That's the thing. He's buying the store mounts. Nobody's playing the game. There's nobody that can buy the store mounts. So uh, I think this is what's happened for quite a while. And unfortunately, uh, I, 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 as I said before, I, I don't think anybody should be celebrating this. It's happened before multiple times. And uh, it's whatever. Like the Burning Crusade, uh, Burning Crusade Phase 2 comes out on September 15th. I saw that. Uh, that's great. Uh, awesome. I think that'll be at least like a few days of content, right? We can go through Serpent Shrine Caverns. We can go through uh, Tempest Keep. I'll have to get my attunements, etc. Uh, that, that's great. I'm happy about that. And uh, then after that, I think that they're adding... Oh, they talked about the Classic WoW, Classic Plus. Or not, or not really Classic Plus, Classic Fresh. That's what they said, basically. Uh, I, I do want to say that a fresh Classic server, in my opinion, has, like, zero appeal to me. 
like I, I cannot express how little a classic WoW fresh server appeal has to me. Because I think there's a lot of people who they think it's going to be something different. They think it's going to be something new. But the reality is that you're going. To I mean, is there going to be no changes? Like, you remember how he made that big document with all the changes that he wanted for WoW Fresh? And is it like, like no changes at all? Is there, you guys remember, how I, I called this so long ago. I'd be like, so what are they going to do when they get to Wrath of the Lich King? They're going to reset and start over? Looks like that's exactly their plan. They're going to do it like friggin' Diablo ladders, except this is not a fucking Diablo ladder. Like, leveling a character in vanilla World of Warcraft is a months-long affair. Like, even for these streamers, it took didn't it take them, like, over a week to get the cap? And it's like, streamers have a lot more time to play the game, particularly if it's a game that they're streaming. We have a lot more time to play the game than a regular player. So it's like... What? They expect people to just like reset their progress and go re-level in vanilla World of Warcraft? Is this actually something that the player base wants? I'm I'm so confused because like I didn't even want it to re-level in vanilla back when WoW Classic came out. I didn't even want it to do that. Like I'll be real. I didn't. I came back and I played Shadowlands. I didn't go play Classic World of Warcraft. I can understand the appeal a little bit, but I already know it's not for me. So the fresh version is definitely not for me. to level up quickly and uh then you finally hit level 60 and you do molten core that's great you know like I, I i'm sorry but this is not filling me with excitement like we did that we did that two years ago i think the uh the uh, anniversary was a couple of days ago or yesterday or something it was great it was so fun. Like, I had so much fun playing Classic WoW. It was incredible. I loved it so much. But you know what? I did it. And I think now, like, if Blizzard wants to revitalize Classic WoW, they have to just do something completely different. Like, I would like to see them go with... Uh, like, I think the cla like Classic WoW versus Burning Crusade, I would like to see them do Classic Plus... Classic um, Plus, Burning I think, Crusade would be a good idea. A launch pad rather than Classic WoW, because Burning Crusade, I just think, made the game better. And I don't. I, there are very few things about Burning Crusade that I feel actually made the game worse, other than making everybody just fixated in Outland. And I, I think that really, what would be better? Would it be better for them to just start? I think that just I, you know, for sake of, of simplicity. Just start with Classic WoW, implement some of the good Burning Crusade changes, and and not the other ones. Because there were small things that I wasn't really a big fan of with Burning Crusade, but it, it's very small. I think that, like for example, like having percentages, like for crit rate, right? For example, like one percent, two percent, three percent crit is much easier to understand for a player than uh, you know fourteen crit rating or twenty one crit rating or something like that. Uh, it, it's just very easy to understand, and I think that's one of the the, the positives with Classic WoW is that it does have that simplicity. And I think also by having that, it makes it easier for Blizzard to avoid power creep because you're just going from like 1% to 2% rather than, you know, 14 to like 55 or something like that or 44. Uh, I think that it's much easier for the power creep to occur whenever you have these... Uh, uh, what do you call it? whenever you have these n numerical things uh, percentages make it easier for them to I think balance I could be wrong about that but uh, either way I think it's something that I'd like to see more of I also think that like classic WoW uh, there are a lot of positives with classic WoW and I think one of the biggest positives is the fact that all of Azeroth has some degree of relevance so you want to go to Felwood to get uh, you know certain types of uh, items like Whiproot Tuber and things like that and I think Whiproot Tuber and small little things like that are not the end of the world. They're not bad for raiding because they're not as powerful as a world buff. So it's just like kind of, it's like using an augment rune in a burn, in like a retail raid. It's like what, 50 strength or something like that? Who cares? You're not going to kill the boss if that's what it was. So uh, yeah, that's kind of my thinking about it. And um, that, that's the way I feel. Uh, I think that Classic Plus 
uh, if you want to take like the three categories, right? You have like classic plus, or sorry, classic WoW plus, hypothetically, uh, Burning Crusade and Retail WoW. Which game in ten years could be the best? Classic, classic plus. plus. The hundred percent plus could be the best in ten years. Yeah. Retail is. I don't dead. think Retail WoW can do it. I think that they yeah. shitted up the game with so many things that it's always going to be fun to play. Is that a squirrel? Fell on my roof. It's a swirl on my treehouse roof. And here's another important thing that World of Warcraft, if, if they were to actually do Classic Plus, which they never will, because they, they're they kind of like listening to their players on retail now in order to try and salvage the debacle that is the World of Warcraft situation right now. But it's like they will never listen to the players when it comes to Classic Plus. But if they were to do Classic Plus, one of the things that they need to do is do not make zones completely worthless after you've been through them. Don't do it. You know, don't make zones worthless after players have been through those zones because that's what WoW does. You know, it's like the friggin' Burning Crusade comes out, screw all most of the zones in, in, in vanilla WoW. You know, players would go back there to what? To do Karazhan and that's pretty much it. You know, it's like... Ugh. That's one of the things, right? Just make those zones still be, be relevant. Make the dungeons still be relevant. Scale the dungeons up so that players can go play that breadth of content that is still there. Nope. Nope. Yeah, forget about it. Uh, like, Classic WoW's obviously got its own problems, but uh, uh, I think that taking it down the OSRS route is the smartest thing to do. Uh, WoW 2, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things that they could do. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to get on my computer in a minute here, and then I'm just going to kind of, uh, I'll see if my mom will talk about the game for a few minutes, too. I, I highly oh. doubt it. I'm pretty sure she's just going to get so mad if I even walk in there with the camera. But uh, we'll find out in just a second. She's looking at me. I'm seeing if she's, like, watching the stream. Sometimes my dad will watch my streams, and then he will write down things that I said that he was mad about, and then he will bring them up to me with, like, a bullet point list. He's like, you know, whenever you said that we didn't do anything. Well, remember whenever I took you to the lake all the time? I'm like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know, he, he would do this to me. Give me one second. I'm still on my stream right now. I'm, it's against my chest, so you can, they can't see you. Is that fine? If you leave. If I leave, it's fine? Yes, get out of here. Get, I, I thought I could ask you a question. Oh, no. Could I ask you one question? I don't know, go ahead. Why'd you, why'd you stop playing Warcraft? Because I didn't have flying. It was going to take me a month to get it. I had exalted and all sorts of things. But no, I didn't have flying. And I'm just going back and forth. Back. It was worse than Really? Tell flying? Back. It's like, no, I'm not going to do it. You thought about playing Classic WoW? I thought about it, but I already did that. You know what I mean? Exactly. I sure do. There you go. So now I'm playing Age of Empires. Playing Age of Empires? Yep. You know, uh, I, I get notifications every single time you win a game. Do you get notifications when I lose? No, I haven't actually gotten a notification at all for like a few days now. Okay. <laughs> Have you been playing? Not yesterday. Okay. Age of Empires 4 is coming out. The trailer came out. It looks really good. I'll, I'll look it up. Yeah, it's great. You don't have to hide your face, by the way. I, 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 I do. I swear to God, I'm not recording you. Yeah, I've heard that before. Okay. <laughs> she, she thought, she thought, what, what the fuck, dude? Can you believe that? Wow. Hopefully you guys were able to hear that. I know it was really close up to my chest, so I didn't really know if I would, if that would work. Okay, uh, let me get this out of the way. And I'll show you guys what the setup looks like right now. As you guys can see, there is the setup chilling doing what you need to do going to work and let's see here this over here is where i have make sure i don't have any any other bullshit here yeah that's that's where i sometimes that's dark. sleep and this is pretty much where i put all my stuff that's just where all the stuff is that i get and then over here is my tv i bought i'm, I I'm good man yeah, it's nice. It is really nice. Clean with the fuck. 
Yeah, I cleaned it up. Uh, I, I do clean it up pretty regularly. I know people like won't believe that, but I do. And let me just make sure I get, I get my blanket on me. This is how I get ready for a hard day of work. What the hell, a blanket? <sighs> but yeah, it's like Blizzard, it's, it's too little too late with the changes that they're doing. And it's definitely a, you know, it's a, a desperation move. And even though they're doing the right things, they're doing them for the wrong reason. And I think anyone can see that they're doing the right things for the wrong reason at this point. But, you know.